good with y'all man welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna go over how to make beats in the style of metro boom and future's new album we don't trust you and before the video starts i just want to say thank you thank you for a thousand subscribers on youtube it really means a lot and yeah go tag with me on instagram at prob evo and let's hop right into the video so i really took a lot of inspiration from the track young metro on the album and so i started at 114 bpm and at first I started with these strings, just like in that track, Young Metro. The first set of strings I added was from Mellotron. It's the Age Strings preset. And all I have for the effects is just an EQ cutting the lows. So for the chords, just an A sharp minor, and then I duplicated it over and I pitched up the middle note by two and the top note by one, copy that over for the rest of the pattern. And then for the last chord, I just pitched the bass note down by five. And then in between the chords, I just use these half steps here to keep it a little bit darker and it adds a little bit more movement into it. And then the second half of the melody is just these middle notes pitched up an octave. Then I layered another set of strings from contact. It's just the session strings pro violin. Copy the exact same chords over, and there's no effects on this. So with the chords together, this is what it sounds like. Then I added this preset from Decent Sampler. It's from London Rain, and it's from the cassette violin. And this is the pattern it's playing. I just kept in the A sharp minor scale and then I just arpeggiated some notes. And for the effects, I just put halftime on and then I rendered it out. And what I did was click this button here and hit Alt R. And then what I did was chop it up a little bit and add these reverse sections in. And then I pitched it up an octave. And then I went into the effects and put on some reverb, Volve Compressor, EQ, RC20, another EQ, another EQ, and then a sound shifter to pitch it down by 12. And I turned the mix down on that just to add some more lower tones. And then I rendered that again by highlighting this, I hit Control Alt C. And then what I did was put on a Valhalla Delay, and then this Lux Verb, which is like a newer type of plugin in FL Studio. And then I hit right click this knob here and click Create Automation Clip. And I made this automation, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Next thing I added was this piano from Labs. This is a completely free plugin. Then I added this piano from Labs. This is a completely free plugin. And then I had this little flourish play at the end of every two bars. All I did here was utilize these half steps. And then for this last part, I just pitched this up an octave. And then I added some Volve Compressor, Vintage Verb, and Delay. And this is what it sounds like with the effects on. Makes it sound a little bit more vintage. Then I added this bass, just following the bass notes. Then the last thing I added in terms of MIDI was this preset from Texture Box, another London Rain uh, decent sampler patch, preset 41. And then I just played this A sharp over and over again. Then I added some effects on top of that. Halftime, EQ, RC20, a decimal, space modulator, shaper box. I don't know what preset this is, but here's the settings. Sound shifter to pitch it up by 12. And then an EQ washing out a lot of the frequencies. Then I rendered that out by doing Alt R. And the preset was really off the grid and untimed. So then I just chopped it up to put it on time like that then i rendered that out pitched it up by 12 then i added eq to take out low frequencies boost some of these mid to high mids then added a cymatics lotus on this feedback groove then i rendered that out one more time and then this is what it got me a very weird texture very weird sound but i think it adds to the dark atmospheric type of vibe then I added this texture from this new kit I'm working on. Be on the lookout for that. I'm going to be dropping that probably within the next couple of weeks. And it's going to be completely free. So yeah, definitely be on that. And I added this texture right here. Then I added my, then the final thing I added was these like gasps of air that I recorded in. And this is what it sounds like. Very strange, but I think it adds to it. <sighs> yeah, very strange sound. And uh, for the effects, it's just an EQ. I boosted the gain a little bit, and then I took the gain down. Yeah, I don't really know why I did that, but I did it. I'm going to preview this final sample before I go into the other project where I put the drums on it. So this is what it sounds like. 
get the idea so it doesn't sound completely like metro sound but i'm gonna jump over to the other project to show how i manipulated it to sound more like a metro sound so yeah let's go right over there so let's hop right into the other project so i brought the sample into the project and the first thing i did was boost the bpm to 116 just a very slight difference and then what i did was bring this up right here and hit open a new fruity slicer channel so yeah i opened it up in fruity slicer and just kept it as the regular slice and then what I did was boost the attack, the decay, pitched it down by 600 cents. Then I rendered that out by hitting Control alt c I brought it into the playlist and I pitched it down by two. And then I took all the lows out like this with the EQ. Then I added that same bass four back in, it's the same sound. Just different key now. And yeah, this is what that, and yeah, this is what the sample sounds like now. So it makes it sound a little bit more sampled, a little bit more like Metro's type of style, a little bit darker as well with the pitch down semitones. So yeah, let's go to the drums now. And for the drums, it's super simple. And like I said, I took a lot of inspiration from Young Metro. First, I added this hi-hat playing quarter notes. And then I just messed with the velocity a little bit on the second notes. And then at the end of the pattern, I just added this little roll to transition into the next part. This is what it sounds like. Then I added the snare pattern. I switched it up at the end here to give the listeners a little bit of a different sound. Then I added these two open hats. Then I added this zapping like perk. This is what all the percussion sounds like together. So the last thing I added was this 808 and it's from a Drakey kit and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, they're just following the root notes. And I added a couple of these pauses here to add a little bit more bounce. And how I did that was I went to this envelope setting and added this envelope right here. And then in terms of the mixing, I just leveled everything and added a little bit of panning to some of the percussion. And I turned the 808 completely mono and then the bass completely mono almost. And then for the second half, I took out the 808 and added a kick following a similar pattern. And then I added the bass back in. And after all that, this is gonna be the final beat. I definitely feel like I can hear this type of beat on Metro's new album. And yeah, let me know how I did in the comments for sure. Let me know if you can hear this on the album. And yeah, let's listen to the final beat. pretty much it for the video i hope you guys took away some hope you guys learned some from this and like i said earlier in the video thank you guys for all the support it really does mean a lot and yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you on the next one